Everybody should have Teamworks by now on the app, your app on the phone, okay? Uh, I post it, I tape it up to the door of the locker room. It gets emailed to you, it gets posted on Teamworks. So between those three ways, if that's not enough, then you might be in the wrong locker room. Have that schedule, figure out what routine works best for you, and then know what's going on each day. Uh, if there's changes to that, which there, there will be changes from time to time. We'll have to move a practice or move a lift or do something from time to time. Um, I'll usually send that out in the group chat that we're, that we're all on in the group meeting, okay? So be looking for that stuff. We are going to do a training table in the summer, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays, okay, over these eight weeks. So now that may change a day or two here or there, like tomorrow night, we're, all, we're going to the cookout at Coach Painter's house with the recruits. We won't have training table tomorrow night because we'll eat out there, okay? But tonight at five o'clock, we'll have training table in the wooden, wooden room, okay? So for you new guys, wooden room's just up on uh, top of the ramp as you go into Mackey Arena. Start becoming like 15 minutes earlier just to make sure that we get up there and get warm or whatever. Uh, for the uh, younger guys, like, you know, us older guys have been through a lot of stuff. So if you have any questions about like classes, teachers, whatever, like uh, study halls or whatever, just, you know, let us know. So. So there was no book for the uh, the English for twenty. Um, this one here is Econ two fifty two. Yeah, that's the one. And then yeah, management two hundred one. Cool. Hey, so, Gator. So I don't need to even at the end of the summer. I don't need to bring anything back. Right? Nope. Okay. Cool. Yeah. There. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Sounds like a plan. Bye. All done. Academics come first. Just got my books ready for some of classes. different stuff that we'll do when you break up obviously guys that are older make sure that you go first okay so when we're doing stuff like get in there so Caleb you and Brian like, you know you guys just get in the back of things it's not it's not rocket science it's not gonna be anything too difficult know the purpose of what we're doing like we get into sunrise closeouts like have fun with it like but also understand we're not allowing middle drives you know on those closeouts to the wing and we're straightening up up top all right each, each thing has a purpose in what we're doing all right, we'll go ball handling right away. Let's go, stack Let's go, baby. Hey, pass the ball, Kanye, with you Let's go. Do not put somebody to a side when you close out up top. Don't put him to a side. I don't care if he's left handed, right handed. All right, square him up every single time right there. All right, your close out is always the same. Where you close out is good. He can shoot. All right, I got to adjust to that. Obviously last year, you know, having COVID and everything, um, you know, the workouts were a little different. Um, you know, we had to work out with, you know, just our roommates um, in our apartments and, 
Um, it was a little different, you know, and, you know, this year, obviously, stuff is starting to open up a little bit more. And, you know, we're here now, and, you know, team workouts are starting, and we're, we're all back to normal. You know, some, some places don't have you wear masks anymore, but everything is, you know, getting back to normal, and um, I'm just excited to, you know, get everything rolling and get everything started again. It's a great start, you know, to, you know, the summer. Um, obviously, you know, we're, we're about to get rolling here and, um, you know, a couple of months, you know, for the season. And I feel like, you know, our new guys are, you know, stepping up big and, you know, they're just trying to learn everything that they can. They haven't been here before, so, you know, they're, they're new to this and, you know, our older guys are going to step up and, you know, teach them, you know, the things that they don't know. And, you know, our new coaches, they're doing so well for us. And, um, but we're all, you know, super, super excited and super blessed to be here. Um, be in this position to compete. What we're trying to do is the start of the summer is get to the hardest shit. We're going to work backwards. Because once we got to this, a lot of this stuff last year, we really struggled. So I just want to get it out there and put in a lot of time with it so we're much better in rotations because we can't control what they do offensively in our rotations. Go ahead. Really, with my game, I've been working on a lot of mid-range. Um, and I think, you know, when the game comes, I feel like I improved in that aspect, you know, getting to my footer a little bit better and, you know, trying to improve, you know, my three-point shot. Obviously, I shot really low last year, percentage-wise, and um, just improving that aspect and showing, you know, everybody that, you know, I got it all. And um, whether even improving in, you know, passing and rebounding. Um, so just trying to show everybody that, you know, I can do everything on the court. Yeah, I'm good. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Good, take the ball! 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 Good, take the
good first two days of practice here in this first week of uh, getting back in the summer. Um, it's really exciting to kind of get the freshmen back back on the campus and uh, introduce them to the things that we, we need to work on throughout the summer and head into the fall. So, you know, we're constantly improving, but, um, you know, we're missing some faces here with Zach uh, playing on Team Canada. Jaden's going to be leaving here soon. You know, with what we've got so far, you know, just introducing the young guys to our system offensively and defensively, you know, we've really got some good stuff done this first few days and, you know, some really good positive things going forward. Trey, you're probably going to need more than one paper towel. More than one? You guys are taking a handful of ice, okay. and with how big your hands are, I feel like one paper towel is not going to not going to cut it. <laughs> hey, Bill. Is that enough? Yeah, you should be good. I got you some paper towel. Thank you. I think I'm going to be meeting with you guys a couple times over the summer, and my plan for that, for all of them, is working on some like mental toughness skills. All right, so the activity that we're going to do, I'll kind of explain it just as we go through it. Um, so, two bags of ice. I want you guys to take a handful of ice and go ahead and just hold it. Hopefully, we're going to do it kind of twice, so there should be extra. So just take a handful, hold it in one hand, and that's why you have your paper towel or towel. I want you to just pay attention to what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hold it in your hand. You can squeeze it if you want to. You can let it just sit there. It's whatever you want, but just keep it in the same hand um, the whole time. What do you guys feel in your hand as you hold it? It's starting to numb already a little bit. Okay. You am getting like the pin pricks. It feels good. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, that's a different reaction. Go ahead and squeeze it. Really want you to feel the coldness, the pain of it. Freezing. <laughs> you saying it's making it colder for you by hearing everyone else? Yeah, man, I feel like I'm okay, honestly. Here, like, I feel like I'm good here. I'm not sure too much up here. Hold it for like another minute or so, and then we can kind of dump it back in the bag if you want. All right, go ahead and put it back in the bag. Unless you want to keep holding it or eat it, I guess. However you want to dispense of it. Painful? At least a little bit, right? I mean, it was just our hand as opposed to like doing a full ice bath, mm. right? It was cold, but it was like, that was like the only thing I was focusing on was like my hand. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that kind of made it worse thinking about like, how it was feeling in your hand, the pain. A little bit. Yeah. And Eric, you had said too that hearing everyone else talk about it mm -hmm. was making it worse for you, yeah, right? All right, so I want you guys to kind of remember those things in a minute. 
So now we're gonna work on a skill. I'm actually gonna give you three variations of it, or if you can incorporate this and master it, then you can kind of fold it into a ton of other things. And all it is is breathing. And I'm sure you guys, the initial thought is, okay, I breathe all day, every day, right? But most of the time we don't breathe in a really purposeful way. And I think we forget about the importance of it and what it can do for our bodies, right? You know, it's getting oxygen to our muscles. It can be a great way to reset. You're breathing in that color that represents the calmness, the mental toughness. And when you breathe out, you're letting out that pain that you're feeling, the frustration that you're feeling, the anger that you're feeling, whatever it may be. And it's gonna be deep belly breaths, which means it's coming, you're utilizing your diaphragm, not just coming from our chest. And so sometimes it can be helpful to make sure that you're doing that, hand on the belly, hand on the chest. You wanna feel your belly rising and falling, not your chest, right? When we're really, really tired doing those short breaths, it's all coming from the chest. You know you're getting that good deep breath if your stomach is rising and falling. So what would be an instance in life, while you're playing, practice, whatever it may be, where this may come in handy, this type of breath? Free throw. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so the next breath, um, is just a simple one to two ratio. And this is one that's used a lot um, in just high performance situations. Navy SEALs use it a lot too. Um, again, breathing in through the nose, but when you breathe out through your mouth, I want you to blow as if you're blowing on a birthday candle, but you don't want it to go out. So it's not just one deep like exhale really quickly, but it's nice, slow, and steady. Usually we just wanna master kind of the single deep belly breath for those short instances when you need a quick reset. Um, if you have a little bit more time, then you can kind of incorporate a bigger breathing pattern. So the last one I wanna teach you guys, and this is one that follows suit with that of when you have more time, this can be a good one to just practice in your own time. Um, it's called a four, seven, eight breath. And so this one I like a lot because um, if you do it, normally I do about three rounds of it, twice a day for two weeks your body starts to learn it. And then it's like, oh, that's what we're doing. We're relaxing. And it teaches your body that response. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my goal is you guys have a couple variations on that that you can use in different ways that you want. The idea with this, like I said, being able to breathe and having that control over it is gonna serve as a very foundational kind of point for me uh, mental toughness. And you'll be able to use it in a lot of different instances. So with that, the first sentence we're gonna practice with is with the ice again. So why don't you take another handful in the opposite hand, and then I want you to choose the breathing pattern that you want, and I want you to just focus on that breath. It can just be deep belly breaths if that's all you wanna do. If you want to do the four, seven, eight, the one to two ratio, I don't care which one you choose, but pick one breathing pattern. And I want it to be quiet in here, at least for the first like minute or two while we do that a little bit. And just see what that is like, just focusing on your breath instead. What was it like second time around? A lot easier. Yeah. yeah. I like to focus on the ice that time. I was focused on breathing. Yeah. yeah. Like my hand was wet. Really yeah. Right yeah. A lot less painful, right? Um, so it's something quick, easy. No one knows if you're doing it or not because we're always breathing, and that's why it's one of my favorite skills to teach too because it blends right in, fits in really well with sports, right? You, how many times do you guys see someone on the free throw line? Deep breath is pretty much always part of kind of that pre shot routine, right? The more you can kind of master that skill and have it in your control, the more useful it's going to be going into those moments. The more useful it'll be in kind of resetting, reshifting that focus as opposed to thinking about what just happened. As soon as we touch the uh, sideline, we turn it into a skip. Okay, so it'll be forward skip, forward skip. As soon as I get to the nail, I'll flip it over, backward skip. Good. Woo. Come on, give me a 
Come on, guys. Two days in a row. Up one, up one, up one, up one. Up one. Up one. Great one today. Hot one in Mackey today, man. It felt like a sauna. Um, but, you know, everybody got after it. The guys got after it, man. It was, it was fun. And, you know, as a team, you got to be, be able to do stuff, you know, that, that you're uncomfortable with. And, you know, the guys got after it. Um, nobody complained about the heat. And, you know, we put the work in. So, it's, it's, it's for May 10th. I think, I think we're done. Light.